Hey, welcome back, you beautiful people, to another episode on The Muggsy Show. Thank you for clicking on the video. We got some great stuff lined up for you guys for today. From the Marvel's end run at the theaters, an update to WB's Coyote vs. Acme film, Netflix trying to revive the Snyderverse, gaming news, and more. And you guys already know, grab your favorite drink and your popcorn, and let's enjoy the show. Now, the first update we have for you guys for today is a Peacock original TV show getting greenlit for a second season. And that show is Twisted Metal. Now, this was officially announced by Anthony Mackie himself at the Game Awards ceremony. And he goes on to thank all the fans for loving the series. And he reads everyone's comments and he is blown away from everyone's love and support for this series. Now, the show debuted in July and made Nielsen's top 10 streaming original series the week after its premiere. Now, this is some great news, and I'm glad to hear that they're gonna have a season two. I enjoy Anthony Mackie, and of course, Will Arnett as Sweet Tooth. Well, at least when it comes to the boys. But let me know in the comment section, did you enjoy the Twisted Meta show, and are you excited for season two? Now, moving on to the next update, we have the Marvel's box office and run, and it's not looking good. Now, as of right now, it has been reported it's gonna be the lowest grossing MCU movie of all time. Now the film will end at $80 million in the domestic box office. Globally, it's gonna be at $197 million. Now this film was a $220 million plus budget. So those box office numbers are not looking good for this film. And the Marvel broke plenty of records and not in a good way. It actually had the biggest drop for the second weekend for a Marvel film at 78%. And it actually beat out the Incredible Hulk that held the title for the lowest grossing film at $264 million. And it holds another record for being the first MCU film to not cross $100 million in the domestic box office. Now, after hearing these numbers, are you surprised by it? And do you think this film deserves to be the lowest grossing film in MCU history? I don't know, the critics in the audience were very divided by this film, but as you can see on Rotten Tomato score, yeah, the critic score was low, but the audience score was kind of high at 82%. And I don't think that's that bad for an MCU film at all. But I don't know. Again, people are saying it's superhero fatigue. But all I know, the MCU is going to have a long break till 2025 because Deadpool 3 will be the only MCU film of 2024. But let me know in the comment section how you guys feel about this. Now, from the MCU to the DCEU, the Snyderverse being revived? Let's go and talk about it. Now, this is all coming from a recent interview with The Hollywood Reporter talking with Netflix head of film, Scott Stubber, addressing the possibility of continuing the Snyderverse. And he acknowledged that it's very tricky right now because they do not own the rights. And even with that in mind, he hinted that there's a chance that Snyder's DC movies could be licensed over to Netflix following a trend of several other DC movies hitting that platform. And this is what he said during the interview. Obviously, we would like to license it at some point. We love to have it on so that fans can experience more Zack. The more Zack we have, the better we are. Oh man, this just blows my mind because I just read not that long ago about Zack Snyder saying that he would not make any more superhero movies unless it's Frank Miller's Dark Knight and he said, you know what, he's just going to put all his attention onto Rebel Moon's franchise. But I don't know. I mean, one part of me says, yes, bring me back, you know, the Snyderverse. I love those films. I do. I know they're flawed. I know they're not perfect, but I like them. All right. Don't judge me. And I'm looking forward to James Gunn's universe. But this is tearing me apart, guys. Let me know in the comment section. How do you feel about it? And do you think the Snyderverse should be revived? Oh, man. All right, enough with the Snyderverse for now. Let's go ahead and talk about WB's Coyote vs. Acme film. Now, for those who don't know, WB was planning to put the Coyote vs. Acme film in the vault and never release it for tax write-off purposes. Well, there was a lot of backlash from writers and fans, and WB decided to pull the film back out and to sell the rights to a studio. And it was reported that Netflix was in the running to buy the film, but the deal fell short because the price tag on this film is at $70 million or more, and Netflix only offered half of that. So as of right now, those talks have ended with Netflix. But it's not over for Coyote vs. Acme because it's been reported that Paramount is in the running to purchase the film and Amazon is considering it but hasn't put a bid for the movie. 
but that is your update for coyote versus Acme as of right now but i'll let you know when we find out more information about who purchased the movie and when it will be released now moving away from the movie updates we got some gaming stuff to talk about as well now it was announced yesterday at the gaming awards that god of war ragnarok will have a dlc called valhalla and it will be free to everyone on december 12th now as long as you own the copy to god of war ragnarok you will be allowed to play this dlc for free now santa monica studios also did say that this is a gift to the fans to enjoy during the holidays but let me know in the comment section are you guys excited for this god of war dlc now the last update i want to talk about for today is arcane lions marvel's blade game that'll be coming out soon now this will be a mature single player third player action game set in paris now, Arcane Lion Studios has made Deathloop, Prey, Dishonored, and Bioshock. Now, as of right now, from what I've read, there's no release date, but people are guessing that this game will be released late 2024 or early 2025. But there you go, guys. Those are all the movies and game updates that we have for today. Let me know in the comment section how do you feel about all these. And remember, if you want more content just like this, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and have that bell on. I'll catch you on the next one. You guys take care. Much love. Peace out.